Hello guys from Federico Town. Today I'm going to talk about the semi-final of yesterday between uh, Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic. Uh, first of all, this video will be dedicated to one of my uh, Serbian friends, uh, Dragon and Neshko. So it was, um, this match was one of the greatest match, if not the best, in the history of the French Open. I didn't expect that Djokovic would have won this match. It's already the second time that Djokovic is able to beat uh, Nadal at the French Open. Only two men have beaten Nadal at the French Open, certainly, and of course, Novak Djokovic. He played uh, unbelievable. The first set was pretty straightforward uh, for Rafa. I thought he was going to win it 6-0, and he recovered uh, really well. And uh, from he was 5-0 down, and... It ended 6-3 uh, uh, the first set for Nadal, and uh, what a match. I mean, uh, just incredible. These guys are really, uh, they, they are the next gen, because next gen doesn't really exist uh, as of now, and uh, they are reinventing the next generation, Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic. They're simply amazing. They, they always want to improve. Uh, Djokovic wanted to win so bad uh, against Rafa. He had a lot of pressure against Matteo Berrettini in the, the previous match. He was very uh, nervous, I think, um, when he screamed at the end of the match against Berrettini. Maybe that g gave him uh, an extra boost to face Nadal. He believed he could beat again Rafa. So that was uh, a revenge from the French Open, which uh, from the French Open final of 2020, where Rafa had beaten Nola, uh, giving him a bagel in the first set. And uh, he had a good reaction in the second set. Nadal wasn't there uh, physically, but uh, well-deserved for Novak. Um, he had everything going on. Uh, he, he played very solid. Credit to him to uh, beating uh, one of the, well, the best clay quarter. Of course, Novak, I think... Uh, He's the best clay quarter uh, behind Rafa, of course, because he won a lot in clay tournaments. It's true that, yeah, the French Open, he won it just one time. And tomorrow, it's going to be, uh, of course, an interesting final to see of uh, Stefano Tsitsipas reaching his first major final. Uh, Novak, of course, will have more experience. Um, he's very uh, tough mentally. Novak Tsitsipas doesn't have... Uh, that mental strength that Novak possesses. I think it's going to be an interesting match, of course, from the beginning. We'll see how uh, the first few games will be. And, uh, of course, I will pick Novak Djokovic, the favorite, to win the final. But never know. Tsitsipas can be really dangerous. He had um, an incredible tournament. He beat a lot of good players. Uh, Novak, he beat the king of clay. So he, he will have that extra motivation to do well and maybe claim a second French Open, which would uh, give him the 19th uh, Grand Slam. Of course, Nadal yesterday missed a chance to uh, go on to the final and probably beat Tsitsipas and win that uh, 21st major, um, overtaking the record of Roger Federer. Unfortunately, this will not uh, take place. So Djokovic extended his head-to-head -head against Rafa to uh, 30 to 28. Of course, this rivalry is one of the best in history, if not the best. And Djokovic could uh, possibly uh, go down as the greatest ever, uh, as the greatest ever to to play this game. I mean, Novak' mental strength is just incredible. Uh, he has everything going on. Uh, he proved time time again why he is the world number one, especially in the match where he faced uh, Lorenzo Busetti, especially in the match uh, where he beat uh, Matteo Berrettini. And, I mean, he's uh, really a force to be reckoned with. And uh, I'm really uh, privileged to witness this era of the big three. And uh, I hope it never ends. But of course, everything needs an end, a happy ending, as we say. And guys, that's it for today. If you like the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. And see you next time. Bye.